<laughs> okay, I'd like to call this meeting to order. Uh, minutes, I will take a motion to approve the minutes from July 18, 2022. Move approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. I was not. All oh, right, you were not here. Appointments, recognitions, and resignations. Request appointment of Alan Kimmerly to the Warren Committee. Move appointment. Second. Good. Any discussion? Sounds like a well qualified individual. Yep. All in favor? Good. We'll accept resignation of Chris Grindle as full time firefighter paramedic effective August 7th, 7, 2022. Move acceptance with regret. Second. Uh, Mike, any. Was he a new hire? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, reasons were the commute. Yeah. And um, he uh, he was off another job with a big fire department. Four calls, a chance of practices, skills, and work. So, right. Okay. Yeah. Bound to be a shake up, shake down. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess you know the labor market stuff. So yeah. It's, it's yeah. Be a All right. All in favor. Consent agenda bypass notice for MRC members municipal solid waste bypassing the Hamden solid waste facility and going to the Juniper Ridge landfill and not hurt due to a fire at Perk. And Hancock County Commissioners meeting minutes of July 6, 2022. That's sort of a, I know, I didn't see this fire in the Yeah, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. No, <laughs> no you can't. You really can't. I'm oh my God. Second. All in favor. Selections reports. Any reports? Um, oh. I'm wondering if we can possibly look at near more near term than long term putting on the agenda third party funding requests. Just to have that discussion, we brought it up in uh, 2019, again in 2020. Um, the end result was that it was too late in the year to make any substantive changes if we were going to consider any. Uh, I just think we need to change, talk about it. Change the calendar. Right now, they don't get the, the uh, applications until January. So you'd like that moved up earlier into the process? When we, when no, we... I want to discuss the process yeah. itself. Oh, you want to discuss the process? Yes. Well, just let me know when you want to. And how we, how we arrive at a reasoned and defensible right. position to provide public funds to nonprofit agencies. Uh, it seems rather arbitrary to me, and it always has. Uh, however, we haven't been able to make any real changes. Yeah. Um, so I think it merits having some discussion. I'd like to that, see it on an agenda yeah. in the near term. Okay, before the budget process actually starts. Probably, yeah. Probably okay. should be, yeah. yeah. All right, um, just let me know when you'd like it. I'll just, on that topic, I'll just point out that in the treasurer's warrants tonight are the uh, third party requests that were approved for the 2020, the, the past time. Right. That's a good idea, Rick. We we always say we got to do that when we're doing it. Exactly. <laughs> and we do yeah, ideas, we're too busy. Yeah, we Every year. Yes, yeah, so that's great. I would agree with that. Yeah. Well, thanks, Rick. That's good. Thank you. Uh, unfinished business consideration of authorizing the purchase of a new Packer truck and chassis from Coel Diesel at the bid price of $88,055 after allowing $10,001 trade for our 2004 refuse packer truck. Move authorization. Second. All in favor. Consideration of authorizing the purchase of a new refuse packer body and installation of same from main equipment at the bid price of $104,986.20. So this goes on the truck I'm taking? Yeah. Okay. Move authorization. Second. All in favor. Consideration of authorizing the use of funds from the waste management truck reserve account number 4051500-24581 for the current balance of $346,731.48, including fiscal year 23 funding of $125,000 
to make the Packer truck chassis and Packer unit purchase described above resulting in $153,690.28 remaining in the account if you make this purchase from this account. Move authorization. Second. All in favor? Sure. Consideration of authorizing Public Works Director Tony Smith to execute any and all documents required to facilitate the Packer truck chassis and Packer unit purchase. Move authorization. Second. All in favor? Thank you. Yep. New business, consideration of fire chief's request to enter into an EMS mutual aid agreement between the Mount Desert Fire Department and the Bar Harbor Fire Department, effective August 3, 2022, and authorization by the select board for the fire chief to sign said agreement. Move approval of the request. Second. Good. Any comment? All in favor? Right Consideration to allow on-call and off-duty full-time fire department staff to work outside details and authorize the fire chief or their designated manage and bill for such under the condition outlined in the fire chief's memo dated July 28, 2022. Can we get an explanation? I'm just trying to understand that. What is outside details and to just, I'm sorry if I'm ignorant. Of that, no, no that's fine. It's, it's similar to what the PD does, but um, it's where we allow our staff to work outside details through the town. So for example, we have an opportunity with uh, uh, one of our EMTs to work an off duty outside detail. Um, they're preparing a contract with the town now for the payment terms and something like that. Um, so the individual will be actually paid through the town, working for the town, but they be working this outside detail. So an outside detail, that's the part, I do. what is an outside detail? Well, an outside detail, detail is not, not, not within the fire department. department. So right. they can work for another department or do something. It's not even another department, it's mostly like a private party. Okay. We do it a lot of times for a private fireworks show. Okay. We require fire department presence at those fireworks shows for safety okay. reasons. Um, and that's where we allow people that are not working to be able to work these out. Sure. Okay. That makes sense. I just didn't understand. It. Yeah. So it just like seems reasonable, but I don't get it. No, no, so it's even reasonable when you do get it. <laughs> it's the best of all worlds. Okay. Thank you for your explanation. Yeah. Sure. Uh, all in favor? Uh, we don't have a motion or something. Oh, we don't. Okay. I would move authorization um, for, for Chief Bender to allow that second <laughs> all in favor thank you consider amending the personnel policy to, and to add section 8.6.9 six lead bank and related six bank forms to the appendices to the personnel policy and authorize implementation of said policy i move the amendment yes yeah. second all in favor Pretty common. Yeah. Thank you. Scratch yeah. with some of the yeah. other towns now yeah. doing this. So, right. Any other business? Yes, Tony. You want to talk a little bit? We want to bring back that I, that possible uh, generator going to the high school at surplus generator next meeting. Uh, yes. Yeah. In, in in a nutshell, the uh, emergency generator at the high school is just is beyond its last leg. So it's going to be decommissioned. Um, we solicited cost proposals to replace it in the range of 55 to $60,000 and up to a 40 to 50 week lead time on getting it. Um, well, is was, this, sorry to interrupt. This is we as in the board of trustees for the high school. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. I'm, I just I'll, want to I'll, make sure that everybody listening was clarified on what we Right, mean. it wasn't us, it, yes, the Board of Trustees. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Jeff. Um, while, while we were, dis while the Board of Trustees were discussing this at our meeting on the 25th, it came to my mind that the town of Mount Desert, we had a standby generator in storage that was deemed to be too small when we upgraded the Northeast Harbor treatment plant in 12, 13, 14, uh, because it couldn't provide the power demands for us. And that's an 80 KW. Um, the trustees 
Matt Haney, Principal Matt Haney and the superintendent were intrigued with the idea. I told them I would do some research uh, through you folks, the DEP, to see if we can sell it. And I found out today we are allowed to sell it. Uh, we were told a few years ago by an electrical engineer that uh, we couldn't because of pending emissions uh, legislation. That did not pass. I spoke with a fellow at DEP today and we, the town, are able to sell it, give it whatever we might decide to do with it um, to the school. And they are very eager. So we thought that it would be good to introduce the concept tonight and then on your meeting on the 15th, bring back the details when it's had time to be vetted and put into a packet so people can understand it's coming. But it'd be a good opportunity just to lay it out on the table yeah. of what yeah. we're thinking. So, Tony, um, yes. will we be able to recoup anything from this? That's up to you folks. Uh, back in 2018, we here at the treatment plant got the idea of maybe we could put it on a trailer and use it as a portable. So we put $6,100 into it for a new radiator, a muffler, and a new metal shroud around it. Uh, we then decided here at the treatment plant that we that it was way too big to put on a trailer, especially to haul it around in inclement weather. So my suggestion that I'll make on the 15th is we at least recoup the $6,100. And I was thinking of asking $15,000 for it. Uh, the trustees authorized up to $60,000. The two new ones we received pricing on were approximately 55 to uh, $62,000. Actually, the 62,000 one has gone up because of the supply chain issues. And that was like 80 months out or something too, right? If they, 40, if they 40 to 50 weeks out. Yeah, not 80 months, 80 weeks. And, and, it's summer. Yeah, <laughs> what's, what's a year here or there? <laughs> you get a kick okay. out of the fact that the uh, school system is exempt from the emissions yeah standards. i know i know <laughs> I, know. To I know yeah so they're yeah. the only people you could sell it to yeah <laughs> yeah well we we could the town can sell it to an entity that is going to use it only for an emergency standby generator okay which in this case the high school will and then the fellow said oh wait they're exempt so you can there, there are no problem with selling it to them. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, representatives of the school are going to do a, a load test on it to see just what it is producing for electricity. When it was mothballed, um, it was our standby generator. It, it worked very well. And our mechanics, the town's mechanics, got it going last week out here in the yard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Thank you, Tony. Thank uh, you, folks. Jeanette, yes. I had uh, two things. Um, I guess for Tony, or I guess one is for the police and one's for Tony. Tony, I just want to tell you that the bench on the in front of the bank looks great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank yeah. you very much. And the other, the other thing was, um, as I was walking down here tonight, and the cars were whizzing by me on Millbrook. I thought it might be time to put one of those signs yeah, up we there. Had that last year. Yeah, we had one last year. We had one last year. And I go like this at people, but yeah, then they, they think I'm waving. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I had somebody go by my house, it must have been 60. Uh, yeah. And there's places there's no sidewalk. You know, it's. Yeah. Well, yeah. we put it up last year. I don't see why yeah. we can't put it back up again this year. Yeah. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, any other business? Okay, treasurer's warrants. Approve and sign. Need action on the generator or anything? No, no, no. no. It's coming no. back for okay. item. Okay, so treasurer's warrants. Approve and sign treasurer's warrant is shown below. Town invoice AP twenty three oh nine in the amount of one million seven hundred fifty three thousand five hundred forty seven dollars and ten cents. Move approval and signature. Second. All in favor. Approved signed treasurer's payroll state fees and payroll benefit warrants as shown below. State fee, fees and payroll benefits AP 2307, AP 2308, and town payroll PR 2302 
in the amount of $258,196.58. approval. Second. And all in favor. And acknowledge Treasurer's School Board AP payroll warrants as shown. School payroll number two in the amount of $150,457.64. Move acknowledgement. Second. Good. All in favor. Before we forget, on the 15th, the garden is going to be making your own. That's great. Yeah. They, have a, they have a rough sketch. But yeah. I showed it to Tony and I sent it down to John in the morning to, to look at as well. You have to be a little bit careful because if you look at it, it's not a formal, it's a sketch, it's not a formal architectural rendering. So, so sometimes you might look at it and say, well, gee, where are the food trucks and all that stuff going to go? Because you see these big things in there. But basically, they show shrubbery and, and things like that. But the architect will be zooming in as well. So, uh, when you look at that and start to have all of your questions ready, it would be a good opportunity to talk about that. So. I will not be physically present. I'm going to try to zoom in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we can put it up on the screen. Put it up on the screen. downside of modern technologies. I actually think I can zoom from my camp now. Nice. It used to just be gone. <laughs> so you got good. I have put I put a new antenna up and then so I was watching the Red Sox game <laughs> a couple of weeks ago and it was like, oh wow, it really works. Yeah. My wife's not happy. That's a cold stream pond. Uh, no, it's sizzled out. Anyway. Oh. Didn't you used to have a place on Cold Stream Pond? Nope. So that's the place where you are out on an island somewhere. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Coming up on 100 years. We have not adjourned. Wow. Island on a are we recording? Nice. <laughs> we are. <laughs> yeah, we are. Well, we basically... Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Good. Second. Good. All in favor. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.